Hi, and welcome to my 2016-17 Edmonton Oilers season preview. Now, just before I get started, I want to quickly go over my predictions for last year. I believe the player who will benefit most from Connor McDavid's presence on the team is Ryan Nugent Hopkins. As a result, I think RNH is in for an enormous offensive season. Nuge scored 12 goals last year. Let's see, what else? With McDavid added to the mix and McClellan's shoot first mentality being implemented, I guarantee, guarantee, the Oilers have a top five power play this year, possibly even the best in the league. The Oilers are 18th on the power play. Just missed that one. Uh, in reference to games versus Arizona, Calgary, and Vancouver, if Edmonton even wins half of these games this year, which I believe they absolutely will, it will dramatically affect where each of those three teams places once again. They won 6 of 15 of those games. Ah, here's one I got right. I don't want to sound pessimistic or seem like I don't believe in the team, but I don't think they'll make the playoffs this year. All right, that's enough of that. Now, the Oilers tied the Florida Panthers for the longest playoff drought in NHL history. A full decade has gone by with no Oilers hockey in late April. Just to give you some perspective on this, this is me right around the time the Oilers were last playing playoff hockey. Since that time, I met my future wife, got married, started my career, bought a house, had a child, had another child, and lost all of my hair. A lot has changed over the years. Now, there are a lot of intriguing storylines heading into this season. Will Connor McDavid win the scoring title? Will he win MVP? Will Adam Larson somehow justify the trade? Will Cam Talbot pick up where he left off after the All-Star break and the World Championships? How many people will the Oilers mascot Hunter abduct and kill this year? But the biggest question, and I would say the only question that matters to me, is will the Oilers break their playoff drought? Yes. Yes, they will. And I say that with complete confidence. Because the thing is, I'm not just hoping they make it. See, as Oilers fans, when the team began rebuilding, we were sold on hope. So not just the concept of hope, we were literally sold on hope. You mean figuratively! No, I do mean literally. Or maybe metaphorically. Symbolically? Whatever. The plan was built around hope. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Oh yes. I think it actually has driven some fans insane. And I don't really blame them. Because the hope that we were sold on was abused. In 2013, when it appeared Hall, Hopkins, and Eberle were going to lead the Oilers back to the playoffs, a lot of fans thought we were finally crawling through the river of crap to freedom. When in reality, we were still taking it up the tailpipe from Boggs and the Sisters. So I understand that people would be very hesitant to believe me when I say they're going to make the playoffs this year. You've heard way too many times, next year. But the thing is, I'm not, nor have I ever been, one of those fans that uses that refrain. If you look back through my videos from last season, you'll see that I have maintained all along that the Oilers would make the playoffs this upcoming season. And like I said before, I'm fully confident that they will. And not in a cocky or arrogant way. It's just for these three very simple reasons. I mentioned in a video last year that in my opinion, the core of the Oilers team is McDavid, Nugent Hopkins, Dreisaitl, Clefbaum, and Nurse. The Oilers only had that entire five-man group in the lineup for... Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. Two games last year. Clefbaum missed 51 with injury. McDavid missed 37. Nuge missed 27. Dreisaitl and Nurse both started the year in the American Hockey League. Even if you remove Nurse, who you may not consider a core player at this time, that remaining group of four only played 21 games together. This is an incredibly talented group of players who all play key positions, and they range in age from 19 to 23. Now, I know the others have 
already been dealing with some ridiculous injuries in the preseason. But if that core group of players can avoid any major injuries, major injuries, then the Oilers are going to be just fine this year and for many years to come. 17 points seems like a lot of ground to make up to get into the playoffs. It's not. Because the Oilers were not getting blown out every game last year. Outside of a few stinkers, which Coach McClellan rightfully blasted them for, the Oilers played a lot of close hockey games. They lost 24 of 38 one-goal games. Turning some of those regulation losses into overtime losses or overtime losses into overtime wins is not a big stretch at all. As I've stated before, I'm really plugging my old videos here in case you didn't notice, last season is what year one of a proper rebuild looks like, competing hard and losing tight games. And now that the Oilers are going into year two, that's going to start to bear some fruit. Edmonton might have the most favorable schedule in the league this year, especially right out of the gate. Unlike last year when they began the season on a killer three-game road trip against tough Central Division opponents, five of their first seven are at home. Eight of their first ten games are against teams that missed the playoffs last year. The Oilers also have the added benefit of playing a tired team on back-to-back -back nights 19 times, while only playing back-to-back -back eight times themselves. I honestly haven't been this excited for a season in years. I really like this group of players a lot. It feels like for the first time in a long time, the Oilers roster has more substance than style. I'm also super pumped because I'm actually going to the Oilers' first two road games in Calgary on the second half of the home and home, and then in Winnipeg for the Heritage Classic. So I'm going to get to see McDavid play twice in just over a week. I'm also really excited because Ron McLean is back hosting Hockey Night in Canada. If you haven't seen the promos for Hockey Night, oh, they just give me goosebumps. They're awesome. You heard it here first. It's going to be a great season. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BlogmanRai. Check out my buddy Braden's fantasy hockey website, sniped at fantasyhockey.com. You can find all of my content there. And go ahead and leave your season predictions below in the comments. And I'll see you again real soon.